Alright, what's going on everyone? Will and Pharmacy do not know here. Welcome to the second episode of Discord.py bot coding tutorial where we're gonna be doing making a Discord bot using Python. So sorry for the delay of the second episode, it's been a whole month, so I highly apologize. But yeah, we're finally back and we are going to cover cogs as promised in the previous episode. So how can we do this. So before we, if okay, so before we continue on, I want to talk about what I changed in between episode, and one of the things I changed in between episodes is I added my token inside a tokens.json, which is inside settings folder, and here we're just simply load opening it, and then opening the the JSON file and converting the JSON into a dictionary for the Python interpreter to understand. The, 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 the JSON and getting the token right here. So that's basically all I did. Now, if you don't know what a cog is, which we're going to be covering right now, it's basically a command handler. So um, we're going to open in Python IDLE because I have some stuff to explain to you guys in a moment. So we have, so, so yeah, uh, cogs is basically command handlers. It's a way to categorize your commands. So let's say you have a mute command, kick command, and all of that. You want it to be, you know, s sorted out properly. You can put it inside a cog called moderation.py, and all of the moderation commands will go straight into it. So if that makes sense. So it, it probably make more sense when we actually get to coding. So let's get, actually get started. So first we're going to need is we're going to Def, I'm going to make a function, I'm going to call it load cogs, I'm going to create a pass in here. Um, what we need as an argument is the client, so that we can uh, use this to load the commands, obviously. Now, you don't need, really need this function, you can just code this entire function in the onReady event, but it'll get a little bit, let's just say, messy. So, I'd rather have a function and then put it in here, so that's... Cool and all. In fact, I could, I could essentially uh, put this inside the client itself, but I don't see the need to put it inside the client object and clustering it. So we're gonna put it outside. So what we're gonna need here is we're gonna quickly do low cogs here self because we're passing the client and self is the client object and that will be exactly client so that's what this is for so now what we need to do is loop through a folder which we don't actually have so i'm going to create a folder if you don't know how to do that just go into discord.py new folder for cogs right and now if we go back to sublime text what we can do here is we have a cogs folder inside here we're going to create a file let's call it admin.py because we're going to have an ad, all of our admin commands in here. We're going to go back into that file in a moment. But for now, what we need to do is we're going to do four. Because we're going to loop through everything. We're going to loop through for cog. And we're going to do is imp new module called OS. Pretty sure it stands for operating system. So now for cog in os.list.dir. So basically list directory. Uh, basically, gonna, uh, what we're going to pass in here is the cogs folder. So we're going to simply do cogs, and it's going to load through. The, it's going to loop through every file inside of the cogs folder. But we don't want that. So what we're going to do is we're going to make this into a list, and then we're going to do file for file in os .list dir blah blah blah. So what file needs to be is we're going to split it using a dot, and we're going to get the first item of this. So how this works is, if you don't know how a split works, is let's say cog is equals to admin.py, we have cog dot, and we're going to split it, and we're going to get split using the dot. So basically what we're doing here is we're going to split, so you see admin.py, what we're going to do when we split it, it's going to create a list, where the first item is the one before the dot, which is admin, and the second after the dot was which is dot pi, which is pi. Sorry. So we don't need pi. We just need the cogs name. So we're gonna just put zero. So for example, if we we'll run it here, you can see a list admin and a pi. So if we go ahead and do 
zero we get simply admin and that's exactly what we need so that's what we do alternatively i guess you can just do cog.replace because we're just replacing a string and dot pi and replacing it with an empty string and you get admin anyway um, you can do that as well but i prefer using split but anyways uh, once we've done that we're going to need to check if the file dot ends with dot pi why do we need to do this? It's because we're going to make sure that the file actually ends with .py, so that it's a Python file. So, for example, if the cog is, for example, um, .js, for, for some strange reason, and we're going to do cog .ends with, and we do .py, it's not a Python file, so it's going to return false, and it's not going to be inside the list. Alternatively, what we can do is uh, cog if we do equals to admin.py again, and then we load this. <laughs> Sorry for all the vibration going on. So, but anyways, um, you can see this time we got the cog that ends with .py. It returns true, so now it's actually an actual proper command. So now we're gonna put a colon so we can start our loop. So we're gonna surround this inside a try catch. I'm gonna pass this real quick. Uh, we're gonna accept. Does it say try catch? I mean try accept. We're gonna exception as e and then we're gonna print the e so that we can print any errors that appears here. So this is to make sure that everything loads, in, uh, loads properly and if there's any error we're just gonna print the error out. So the next thing we're going to need to do is, actually, honestly, you can give this a better um, error message if you want to. You can even raise the error if you want to, but I'm not going to bother with that. But um, if you're going to raise the error, I don't really see why you would try catch, but yeah. So we're going to try to, if the cog is not equals to init, because what happens is inside a... Uh, Python package, which is essentially what Cogs is right now. So, because it's in a folder and it's a Python, uh, we're coding with Python. Um, a folder automatically becomes a Python package, and what the Python interpreter does is that once it sees a Python package, it's gonna put init.py inside our folder. Uh, we don't want that init.py, so we're gonna make sure that if Cog does not equals to init, then we will just do that. <laughs> Right, so if pi does not, so if the cog does not equals to init, that means we're good. It's not init, it's the actual cog itself. So we eliminated pretty much everything we don't need. So now we can just simply do call, uh, client, sorry, client dot load underscore extension. And we can just pass in the folder's name, which is cogs, and we're going to pass in cog. Now I can do dot format if you want to, but I'm going to use a beautiful f string. So I'm going to simply pass in cog from uh, the for loops variable. I'm going to put an f here to make it an f string to clean, make everything clean. So if we load it, the bot right now, we're going to get an error because the admin.py is empty. So what we're going to do is we're going to fill this in. So here we're going to do import discord from discord.ext. We're going to import commands. Now we're going to create a class called admin, we're going to inherit commands.cog, so we're going to inherit cog, we're going to quickly pass this. Now actually, we're going to co let's code it first. So what this is going to be, it's going to be um, a constructor, so we're going to need def init. Now I usually go fast with this kind of things, is because I expect you to at least already know a little bit about the basics of Python. So we're going to pass in self which is basically every constructor has, and we're going to also have client, because we're going to need everything from the we are going to need the client at some point, right? So, again, put in self.client equals the client. But how is the bot going to know where, whether we have the client passed in? So, that's why we're going to need a new function, which is setup, and we're going to pass in client. So basically how load extension does, it's going to loop through all the files, it's going to load the file, it's going to open the file of the cog, it's going to see whether it has this function dev setup with client passed in. So it's going to look for this particular, uh, this particular um, function. So 
if this if the file doesn't have this function, it won't be considered a cog. So make sure you have def set up and then pass in client as an argument. So make sure that's that. And the rest load extension is gonna do the the rest. So uh, in here what we're gonna do is client.add cog. Make sure you have add cog because the cog is not the file but the class. So you're gonna do admin. Now, since admin is actually a constructor and we need client in, we're passing client as an object. So now we created the admin object. It is now added as a cog. We have a cog set up. Now, let's make a really simple command. Let's say the say command. We're going to do commands like command, which is really simple. Name equals to say. And we're going to do pass context. Equals to true. A decorator with commands to command to get the command um, decorator um, name say so that the name is basically so how how does the command how does the bot know what command it is this is basically the name of the command so make sure you have it here and the prefix is an exclamation mark and say here right now is the command's name so we're gonna do uh, basically we're gonna be doing uh, exclamation mark say to run the command now what past con past context is is if we go over to here we have context uh and the context is really important because we get the message we get the bot we get the odds we get a prefix we get the command we get even the send function or method uh it's a coroutine coroutine -routine, meaning you have to await it but um, yeah, the context is something really important. I think you can get away with that passing in co the context. I'm not entirely sure. I never tried, but you can experiment with it. Um, but I always have pass context in there just in case. So uh, commands dot command. So if we actually go to here, we go to commands, I believe. So commands dot command. Yep, you have name which is non, so no command whatsoever. CLS attributes. The attributes you can have. A lot of attributes I'm this didn't actually list any of the attributes you can have descriptions you can have um, usage aliases and all of that so you you basically don't need to code extra things it's already there for you that's why discord.py is so good and I prefer doing this with a discord.js now so yeah you can if you want this to have an alias you can feel free to do aliases equals to an array and then we can say announce because we're technically announcing something. So yeah, you can do that. So it's pretty cool. So make sure the alias isn't actually a list. So there's that. So next we're gonna do async def, we're gonna put it say. You can put whatever you want to uh, as the function name, as long as it doesn't repeat itself. You can do def say, and I'm gonna go name equals, wow, well, no, not name, so, so self because this is a function, and we're gonna pass in self because this is uh, a function inside a class, we're gonna pass in self always. The first argument is always self, the second argument is always context, and we're gonna add a star, meaning anything after this would be non, would be a positional, uh, no, sorry, a non-positional uh, argument. So now we're gonna say message, or this is message. So basically, what what this is gonna say is gonna say, um, let's say we use this command say we we'll say hello world. What it's gonna do? It's gonna assign message equals to hello world. This is basically what's gonna happen, and it's because this is no longer positional. Uh, you, you, if you guys don't know uh, much about uh, this kind of things, I'll leave a link in the description to the Python documentation or something along the lines with a good article about uh, how this asterisk star works with positional arguments, um, just to clarify a little bit things, to clarify things a little bit more. Um, so yeah. So now what we're going to do is we obviously want to get the message. So what we're going to do is we're going to await ctx dot message. As you can see, if we go over to API reference over here, we're going to go to context, we can get the message, meaning we can do context dot message, we can get delete the message that we sent. And then we're going to await ctx.send without a dot there. So we're going to await ctx.send. As I said, you can actually get send right here. 
send, which is a coroutine, meaning that you have to await it. So send, I'm going to send the message. You're done. The command is done. You have the say command. We can run the command now. Let's go to discord.py. Let's run main.py and wait for it to load. And bot is ready. So if we go over to our Discord here, General Tuts or General Tutorial, we're going to say, and we're going to do hello world. You can see the bot now returns hello world just like that. Now, just bear in mind, you will actually, if you do this, your bot will error <laughs> because you need to handle all the errors yourself. Um, there are two ways to handle the errors. One being adding non here, so then you can check if message is non, return something. Uh, a second way to do that is to yeah, have say dot error, and you handle say dot error, and then you handle the and then you handle the error outside. But we're not going to cover error handling for this episode. We've gone uh, seventeen minutes into this, but I'm probably going to cut it out a little bit. But yeah, so it's been. So that's it, that's COGS, and you now know how to code your own commands, and you know how to set up your COGS, you loaded your COGS properly, everything was good. So, thanks so much for watching this episode, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this one. Um, again, sorry for the delayed episode, so thanks so much for watching this episode. That's how many times I've said episode now. Anyways, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one, in episode 3.